Hey beautiful, thanks so much for tuning in to today's KTV and the terrific Tuesday tip of the week. Yeah, we are celebrating here at KendrickShow.com today and I can't wait to spill the beans. I'm literally bursting at the seams because when we celebrate at KendrickShow.com, that means prizes for all my people and you are totes one of my people. But before we jump in, I have something really fantastic to share with you. So, recently I was reading a book called Made in America, which is the story of Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart. Y'all know I live in Walmart land, right? Now, I don't care if you're a Walmart fan or a Walmart hater, there is something to be learned, probably lots to be learned, from a man who took a five and dime store and turned it into a 466 billion, with a B, billion dollar business in less than 50 years. When asked about what it took, what was the secret to making this happen, Mr. Walton's reply was, and I quote, we just got after it and stayed after it. And that got me to thinking about you and about me. We just got after it and stayed after it. So I began to think, how in the, when you're starting your own business do you get after it and stay after it? And I'm going to share with you today three ways that you can get after it and stay after it. You know, it's kind of like having the, the eye of the tiger in those Rocky movies. It's like the eye of the tiger, the fighter. But it's kind of like that, the eye of the tiger. So way number one to get after it and stay after it is you keep taking action. You've heard me quote my friend Jenny She that says clarity comes from taking action and it's so true. So number one, number one way to get after it and stay after it is you keep taking action. Number two, you continue, into and you continue investing in the skills you need to run a business. That's number two way you get after it and stay after it. And number three is you learn from your mistakes. So three ways to get after it and stay after it are number one, you keep taking action. Number two, you invest in the skill sets you need to grow your business. And number three, you learn from your mistakes. So what's all the hubbub, bub? What's all the celebrating about? You know, we're talking about ways you can get after it and stay after it. But I said there was a celebration here today. The celebration is, and you want, let me warn you, you want to you wanna stay tuned to the end of KTV because I am giving away my most popular take and tweak ever at the conclusion of this KTV. So you want to make sure and watch all this KTV. But what's all the hubbub, bub, as I said? Sales School officially launched yesterday. Woo! I'm so excited. I've been working on Sales School to create something that's going to turn your business into a money-making machine in an authentic, kind, and caring way. What can be better than that? Some of the things that we're going to cover in Sales School are you're going to learn ways to tweak your opt-in so that you can double your list, for real. You're going to learn five never-before-shared ways to go out and find your first few clients. Seriously, you got to know where your clients are to be able to sell them, right? This is worth the price of admission alone. Another thing we're going to learn in sales school is what you can do to create a six-month waiting list so you never have to search for a client again. We're going to master follow-up. We're going to master consults. We're going to master all the basics when it comes to selling, all the things that you need to know to be able to communicate your brand of brilliance to the world. So I invite you to take a look at Sales School and the information about Sales School at the link below. Now I know, Sales School is not going to be for everybody. I've even got some pretty tight requirements on what you need to, prerequisites, what you need to have completed before you apply, before you register for Sales School. But here's the deal. KTB is committed to giving you a tip each week to help you move your business forward. And so even if sales school is not your next step, I want you to walk away from today's KTB with just a sample of, of some of the take and tweaks that you're going to have access to when you register for sales school. So after you check out sales school, be sure you come on back over to KTB and download my most popular take and tweak ever how to deal with the money objection through follow-up. How to deal with when somebody says, I just can't afford it. You literally take this email that I've written for you, fill in the highlighted parts, and tweak it so that it meets your needs. I had one customer tell me just last week that she closed 300% more business as a result of using this one follow-up. 300% more business as a result of using this follow-up. And that's just one of the things you're going to learn in sales school. So I would love to hear your thoughts about this, about sales school, about the take and tweak, about Sam Walton's. We just got after it and stayed after it. 
And I want you to know that I believe in you and your business so much. And I know that together we can get after it and stay after it. So you can do more of what you love, make a difference in the world, and make more money. Tune in next week for a KTV about how to self-promote, baby. Woo, woo. Everybody say woo, woo.